Hi everybody, today I am doing a resin painting using East Coast Epoxy one to one, one part resin, one part hardener. Um, you have to stir for three minutes. It only has a 20 minute working time. So you have to work pretty quick with this stuff. I usually use art resin, but at this time I am out of it. I just reordered it. That has a 40 minute working time, which is much better. But for now, this will do. So now I'm getting my cups out. The first color that I'm going to use is a black diamond gold mica powder. Now when you use a powder, you wanna stir it in really good. Make sure you break that powder down very fine because if you get clumps in your painting, it is not a good look. So I am stirring extra good. Next color I'm going to use is an ink. Now when you use ink, it, you don't have to stir it in real good at all. You can just give it a few stirs and you're good. The more you use, the con more concentrated it will become. So the more you use, the darker it will become. So this right now is a dark blue. It almost looks like a purple blue. And then my next color will be teal medium blue and white. Okay, so I just put a drop of teal in my cup and you can see that it is very dark, very concentrated. I'm gonna add just a little bit more resin in that just to lighten it up. So I'm pouring a little bit of resin into my little cup and decided that that's probably not enough of the blue, of the medium blue. So I decided to pour it into a bigger cup and stir it up. Now I'm getting ready for my black diamond white mica powder. Love this white. It actually creates a really cool effect every time I use it, so I'm stuck on it. Okay, so I am finishing up mixing my white. I have a little bit of clear in my cup. I am going to just pour the clear onto my board. I'm gonna show you guys a few tricks on this video that I haven't showed you before. So give me a minute. Did you ever notice that whenever you watch a video, they're always scraping the bottom of the cups? Did you see how much was left in that bottom of the cup? There's a lot of resin that comes out. So that's why we do that. I mean, it's a crazy amount. Okay, so I'm gonna change my glove. Sorry, I bumped the camera, it's all wobbly. And I'm gonna start pouring my colors. Randomly pour wherever I think it will look cool. You guys don't have to do what I do, just pour wherever you feel. So this is my, actually this is my uh, teal, believe it or not. Uh, I think next time I use a half a drop, as dark as that was. And now I'm gonna use my light blue, or medium blue, I should say. And just randomly pouring it on there wherever I think it will look good. I'm gonna blow dry this, and when I do, they're all gonna to run together anyway. Um, I like that effect. You can actually leave it the way it is. You don't have to blow dry it. You should either 
use a blow dryer, a torch, or a heat gun to get rid of those little bubbles that do appear. You'll notice me using a torch in this video and a blow dryer. The torch actually gets rid of those little tiny bubbles because they will come to the surface and you have to pop them. You cannot leave them on your resin painting. If you do, it will be cloudy and the texture will, will not be too pretty. So you definitely want to get rid of them. So here I'm using a little bit of gold and then I'm going to probably grab my white and pour that on there or my dark blue, not sure. Yeah, my white. All right, so I'm going to use the white and pour it on wherever I think it should be. Okay, so right now I'm going to use my blow dryer and I am actually going to move my colors together. I am going to use the air from the blow dryer to blend the colors. So whichever way I have the blow dryer go, that's the way the colors are going to move. Sometimes I use a heat gun. It takes a lot longer to move the colors with a heat gun. So if I don't want a lot of movement in my painting, I will use a heat gun, but I kind of wanted my colors blended very well in this painting. That's why I have my blow dryer on high and I'm just pulling them in different directions. So in a minute, I am going to add a little bit more color So I'm going to mix up a little bit more white and a little bit more dark blue. So here I mixed up the white and I'm just going to pour puddles of white wherever I think it will look good. And this is the trick that I'm going to show you. You can pour as many colors as you want into circles or I mean, I could have used light blue, dark blue, teal, whatever, gold, but I decided just to use the dark blue and the white. And now I'm just going to add a little bit more white on top and blow dry it out. Trying to squeeze every little bit of that white out of there. Okay, so here we go. So if you notice, I am blow drying in one direction and then I'll turn the dryer in a totally different direction. And it almost creates like a flower effect. But I want to incorporate some of that color some of the colors that I already had on the board so I'm actually going to pull them and do the same effect with them that also creates a 3d effect I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera but it looks really awesome in person so that's the trick I wanted to show you. I think it's pretty cool. I love it. I'm going to torch it one more time. Make sure that all those little bubbles are gone. And then I'll take the camera down and show you my finished piece.
So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I would appreciate it. I always answer all comments. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I appreciate you watching. Thanks. Have a great day.